So all these years, uh, not having known the truth, we were not exercising our authority by faith, but we were sitting and crying and trying to work out a system by which the kingdom of heaven would work. But it will never work because it follows the system which is given in the Bible. So we do have legal right in God to operate in God's kingdom. And all we need to know is how do I do it? Praise God. The first Praise one God. is, the first one is, I must know my rights. So if I'm going to fight for my covenant right, the first thing I need to do is to find out what they are. Praise God. Mm. Where Praise do I God. find them? I find them in the word of God. So the Bible is my spiritual test book or the document which is revealing to me all my rights and privileges available to me. Whether or not I partake it of my right is another matter. Because so many Christians around the world are being beaten up by Satan day and night, made their life miserable, but not knowing their rights and privileges and their ignorance, the devil has robbed and robbed and robbed of everything. The abundant life that Jesus came to give is totally wiped out of these people completely and they are struggling and they are being tortured. Mm. And therefore, I must understand that I must go to the Bible and begin to see what the Bible has to say regarding my covenant with Christ. My right standing with God has been provided by Christ Jesus. So let us look at our rights. Praise God. Praise, Praise God. God. The first one is I have a right to approach the throne of God to pray. And this I have through his mercy and through his grace. I have a right to a healthy body and mind because Jesus' body was wounded and by those wounds I have been made healthy. I have the right to prosper on the earth in all things, to be debt free, to have a home, to have the basic resources, to have more than enough to prosper and share with the poor and use the resources to promote the gospel, to bring children into this world, to have healthy and positive relationships, I have the right to be free from all fear. I have the right to have total peace. I have the right to use the name of Jesus. I have the right to take authority over the devil. I have the right to expect good things in my life. I have a right to live a long, healthy, anointed life. Spirit-filled, satisfied life. Nothing broken, nothing in my life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So, awesome. awesome. Sorry? Awesome, brother. Yeah, these are our rights that Jesus has earned for us under yes. the covenant. Yes. The second is, I have to stake my claim or put a demand on all those rights. So, what is very important is now that I know my rights, I have to put a demand for those rights. Now, I am not demanding them from God. Please, I am not supposed to demand them from God because according to the kingdom, 
in 2 Peter 1 verse 3 God has already provided all things needed for God life and godliness through our Lord Jesus Christ yes just put that 2 Peter 1 verse 3 yes yes papa it's there yeah read according as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue so has god provided us everything mm. yes yes yeah. Yes. So, am I going to demand from God, or am I going to demand that the devil release them into your hands? Because he is the one who has stolen it. Yeah. He is the one who has blocked my inheritance. He is the one who has who has flicked my inheritance, and I have right to take it back from him. Amen. Amen. Yeah, rightfully owned. because under the covenant i he cannot accuse me any more because jesus has already paid the price for me on the cross so all his accusations have no power because the blood of jesus has forgiven me and there is no claim on it everything is erased in the spiritual realm everything is erased but the devil can still deceive people by giving them lies Yes. So if I am believing to be debt free, then I must open my mouth and speak scriptures that speaks about debt free. If I believe that I am healed, then I should pick up scriptures on healing. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, so let me speak about a person debt free. Father, in the name of Jesus, your word says. that i am the head and not the tail above and not beneath mm-hmm. and that i am to owe no man anything but to love him you said you give good you said you give your children good and perfect gifts from above and that you take pleasure in the prosperity of your servants So right now, in the name of Jesus, I declare that I am debt free. I speak to the mountain of debt and command it to move in Jesus' name. Amen. Devil, I am talking to you in the name of Jesus. You release what is rightfully mine right now. In the name of Jesus. I declare you will not steal from me because you have no authority in my life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now go now and never ever interfere in my affairs in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you Jesus. Now when you spoke these words what's your next point? To expect to receive it. you are yes. receiving is not after you receive you are receiving is as soon as you made that prayer and this becomes a tough part because you need to stand on the word of god not for a minute or for a month but as long as it takes mm. and that's how we claim our rights Praise, Praise God. God. Praise God. I need to believe and expect that what I prayed for, it has been released, and it has manifested in Jesus' name. The fourth Amen. point is: thank you, Jesus. Begin to thank God as you enjoy it. So before the manifestation and the pregnancy is going on, praise God. thank god before it manifest 
thank him after it manifest there is a faith in thanksgiving that seals your rights in places so thank god after you stake your claim let him know you are expecting it to come to pass keep praising and keep thanking it will ruffle the devil's feathers until he has to turn his tail and run away the other direction praise god give praise god, god the glory give god the glory and thank him and praise him for even more testimonies don't build up my faith actually mm. they help me to get close to the word the passion but real mm. bible faith comes by understanding the word of god so when we take the time to stand for our rights by knowing what they are and we stake our claim expecting results and thanking god that you are victorious in the courts of heaven that you are righteous and that you are active and a powerful force in each one's life thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus for teaching us how we need to take authority and claim over everything in jesus name amen